And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mage Seeker Lux. Um, this is a you know a deck we haven't played in a while, but this is a fun one. We're bringing it back. It's kind of the theme of today, uh, bringing back some decks that we haven't played in a while. Um, this deck here uses Heimerdinger and Lux as our champions um, with all the Mage Seekers. The Mage Seekers do want you to play a six plus cost spell. And so the, the main six plus cost spell that we want to cast is Remembrance. So hopefully we can have turn three Remembrance every game. That's what we want. And then um, turn four, we can have uh, some combinations. We can have like a Persuader plus a Mystic Shot, which that's like a great turn four. Or maybe we just play a six five with a Mage Seeker Inciter, or, you know, like have stuff like that. And then we uh, have our uh, really powerful champions at the top end. Both Heimerdinger and Lux can take over games um, if left unchecked, and that's what we want. Uh, playing one Eager Apprentice in here so that we can have uh, our dream of turn two Eager Apprentice. We refill the spell mana so it costs zero, and then we can still have turn three Remembrance for six. Uh, that's not going to happen that often, but that's what our one Eager Apprentice is doing in here. Um, Purify looks pretty good these days. Lots of elusives running around. But then also using Purify on like a Legion Grenadier or a Crimson Disciple or um, the uh, the Noxus, the Basilisk Rider. Um, you know, like there's there's some definitely some good things to Purify if you do run into they who endure perfect there as well. So let's give this deck a try. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked, like we do, and we're going to keep on ranking up. Get, uh, get back towards Mestas. Yeah, the this is a pretty fast metagame for turn three Remembrance. Um, you know, we got, we got some early stuff we can do also. We're not, like, you know, dead if we don't have turn three remember it's like we have we have a bunch of good two and three mana cards in our deck as well i used to play magic mobius that was the game i used to play okay well we're definitely keeping remembrance and i'm definitely mulliganing lux it's these cards we're gonna get rid of the get excited also and we'll keep thermogenic beam get excited i like later on in the game because like with the discard <clears throat> with having to discard something. It's not something that I generally want really early. Could use Thermogenic Beam to take down like a Braum, maybe. You know, Thermogenic Beam is just a good removal spell. The Feather Trekkers. And if only we had, you know, Twisted Fate Red card. Withering Whale. Love it. That's probably the best one for us to hit. I've got your back. So that's probably the best one for us to hit. So I I don't really want to play anything this upcoming turn. If I don't play anything, we can save three mana. Yeah, I, I can't just play one mana Thermogenic Beam. That would be ideal. But we could save... We could save three mana the next turn, go Heimerdinger plus Flash of Brilliance plus Thermogenic Beam on three and make some three mana turrets. Or we could just play a 6-5. I don't know. Let's see what they do. I don't know. Maybe we are supposed to play stuff. We probably are. They're going really wide. I'm at 11. Yeah, it's too, it's too risky to wait for Heimerdinger. I don't, I don't agree with just a blanket statement of Demacia B Timer Dinger. I don't really ag agree with blanket statements in general. If I do cast Purify, I have 7 mana next turn. It's not the number of mana I want. So we're not we're not gonna purify. We're going to reload with Heimer next turn. Uh, 
We're gonna go Radiant Guardian. No, I think going wide with Heimer is better. Show them what we're made of. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> to date. I think I'm gonna purify the Cythria. Get a 2 2 that can block. It's smaller than the diagram. Kill that thing, get another 2 2. That works. That works for them. That's a good card to draw. Can have stuff die, you know, in combat, then play Radiant Guardian and have single combat available to gain life. To the base. And then we can um, redoubled Valor or Radiant Guardian. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I mean, that sounds pretty awesome, too. What? But... Oh, because... Right, because I wasn't actually going to kill my thing at the top. Justice will be served. So as long as they don't have their own Purify... Or Detain... feel pretty good about this. Oh man, now I want to play Lux first. This is too cool. Man, we should probably play Lux. Man, this is just too cool though. How often do you get to re redoubled Valor? That's just something we don't get to do very often. Safeguard our citizens. 10 10 Radiant Guardian. And 1-0. Looks like 10-10 Radiant Guardian does the trick. <laughs> GG's. Yeah, it's probably better to play Lux first. It's just too... Too enticing. It's going to be a pretty aggressive... Be a pretty aggressive deck that we're playing against. Man, I'm like tired after playing that Twisted Sin deck. I am tired. That deck was crazy. We had so many long games that were so super close. So many just amazing games. How can I help? It's probably because I got like a, a good workout in earlier today too. And you know, we're on the late stream and now... Now I am... I'm gonna beat. So we cast our one mana earlier. So we only have five mana for this remembrance. Um... Which, good news is I can still play Remembrance here. Bad news is it doesn't help my Mage Seeker Investigator. But we also have something dying, so hopefully we hit Radiant Guardian. Radiant Guardian. Darn. Oh, I didn't do... <clears throat> I didn't do Teemo Emo first. The thing is, like, I want something to die next turn, right? With Radiant Guardian. And the moose is loose. I'm 
You just beat War Mothers by making them run out of cards. Very nice. Oh, I guess I can't I can't play Radiant Guardian now. Hmm. That kind of ruins my plans. Suspicious. That ruins my plans. Get a moose. Get a moose. Darn, they blocked. They figured it out. Virtue guides me. And now we have Radiant Guardian with reporting for duty. You will be scoured from this land. With a barrier. We'll protect that. Okay, this is looking great for us. I will be very surprised if we lose this game from here. Very surprised. I suppose it's still possible, mayhaps. Don't you worry about me. I will be very surprised, though. Uh, I don't know if I want a 10 mana thermogenic beam. What else we get? Sure. Well, in license. Innovation, that sounds cool. Pushing my limit. And we also get to create a detain now. So many mages. Okay, okay. You could end this. Not very easily, but you could. Seek and silence. All right, so that gives me four for Lux. I can cast Mystic Shot like at them to make it six. And then have the final spark kill Captain Farron. Push back the darkness. Or I'll just Mystic Shot that thing. Fair enough. Stay back. Investigate. Um, let's choose Lux. Same that thing. Hmm. But I wanna. Should be able to have this. I can't imagine that they draw a card that keeps them alive. The there we go. Two and oh. Got a little close there. Alright, another Twisted Fate Ezreal deck. Just 
played against one of those a little bit ago. All right, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep this combo. Yeah, license innovation is a worse remembrance, uh, but it's you know it's in a different region. If they were in the same region, I think something would have to change, but it's in a different region. It's like saying Scythria is a worse Jagged Butcher, so something needs to change with that card. It's in a region that that cares more about spells and spell mana and everything like that, so it's it probably should be worse. People are playing this deck to counter Vimer. It's probably a it's probably a safe thing to say that Twisted Fate is balanced. That's it's probably safe to say that. It's very good, but you, you want your champions to be very good. That's a good card. Give me a bar barrier for Heimerdinger. That's good. I got the kids. The problem is if I play Heimerdinger, then they just attack, and I don't really want to block or take damage from that thing. That card's really good. Kempunk pickpocket. Wow. What a card for the Yorl Grifter to steal. Oh my gosh. What a card. Yeah, the advantage that Unlicensed Innovation has over Remembrance is that it's in Piltover and Zon, the region that care cares about spells. Magic has no place here. There's, yeah, no, no reason to buff Twisted Fate. I think I need to play any of these. Don't think we need to play any of those right now. We certainly could. But I want to get Lux in play first. And start leveling up Lux as well. You know, like if I so if I would have like spent my three mana last turn, I wouldn't have had any mana to go along with this. I'll protect you. We'll probably be killing Heimerdinger right here. We got another Heimerdinger. We're halfway to leveling up Lux. I'm always up for a round or two. It's tempting just to play the progress day, draw three, make an 8-8, eight, eight, level up Lux. Doesn't... Doesn't use our mana the best at leveling up Lux. Dimensions don't determine themselves. I'm gonna do that. 
We shuffle Heimerdinger back into the deck. That was a Heimerdinger progress day. Of course, we don't actually have progress day in our deck. Gets me the zero drop. Turret, which is why I wanted to do that before the 8 8. I felt like they were probably going to just kill the Heimerdinger. I was hoping to get the zero drop as well. Okay. Those are good cards to get rid of. Honestly, hmm. I wonder if I was even supposed to play that. How they pass priority. Maybe I should have just untapped. Or just like refill my mana. What you looking for? Gosh, do they just not have removal for Heimerdinger? Like, what is this? Wow. They don't. die that just costs one less because of black market merchants. I'm going to try this. They basically need double double get excited. Driver's seat now. For sure, with unyielding spirit on Lux. <laughs> this A2 is so bad. They want to keep Black Market Merchant out there, huh? Yeah, they just played Twisted Fate, pick a card, so they have a whole bunch of fleeting stuff. Um, could certainly be... Like, if they're prioritizing Black Market Merchant like that, I kind of want to try to kill it. Means they most likely have steel cards. Cool. Not turn on plunder. That was about as good as that mega rain could be for me. I mean, really, just any of these five in the front I wasn't happy with. All right, so now, now Remembrance costs four mana because we had two things die. So we just played a two mana spell with Lux. So now with Remembrance costing a four. Get to play that and get the Lux Final Spark. The move. The moose. Yours. 
Yeah, I mean, it's basically, they, they need to level up their Ez... I mean, it's not over, over. If they could level up Ezreal and, you know, like, they need to level up Ezreal and just combo kill me. If this was, like, a normal, like, attack you to death deck, it would be over, but they can kill us without attacking. If you have nothing to hide. Hmm. They haven't cast a 6 plus cost spell yet. Well, I want to kill that thing. I don't want them to play a 6 plus cost spell, get detained, detain my Lux. I don't want that to happen. Time for a true display of skill. And we have Get Excited plus Detain, so we have multiple ways to get that, um, you know, get rid of this Ezreal before they deal damage to us. Watch and, learn. and single combat. An easy one. Um, yeah, let's go single combat first. That was a good draw. That still keeps me with two removal spells for Ezreal. Need to kill them here. Get your work, get your Ugh, more blockers. I don't think I attack with with Heimerdinger. I don't think it's. I don't think that the upside of the two damage is worth it. I don't want to use any of this mana to protect Heimerdinger from just a, a three two or something. So I have detain, detain, and get excited. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they would have blocked Time Redinger, they would have taken an additional five. And then maybe get excited would have killed them. That's true. Everything they blocked was five damage. So yeah, I guess I probably should have attacked with it. Don't ask where it's from. How much? Yeah, I guess I guess I should have attacked with Heimer Dinger, shouldn't I? I didn't really do that math. Their best cards they could take from me are Mystic Shots. They could... Yeah, that's that's their best cards they could take from me. That gives Ezra Ezreal 7 out of 8. Virtue guides me!
All right, now they can't really kill us with, with an Ezreal. They only have four mana. This is what I do right here, XP. Do this every every day. I have a new method to evaluate. For justice and all things bright. Okay, GG's. Finally. It took an extra 20 minutes that I didn't need to. Yeah, that, I mean, that might have been what they were doing, is just roping and hoping that I would quit, I guess. I don't know if that's a very good strat, but who knows, that could have been the strat. All right, we'll keep Thermogenic Beam, draw Remembrance, live our best life of Eager Apprentice into Remembrance. What are we going to hit on the Remembrance? Y'all call it. What are we hitting? I'll try anyone once. You're calling Moose? Our last two were both Mooses. The party has arrived. I'm going to call the tough one. Call the tough. Praying to Teemo for the tough guy. Oh no, not that tough one. Wrong tough one. Magic has no place here. Six five. Six five is pretty big on turn four. Strike down the corrupted. <laughs> the moose is not loose. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Got an axe with your His name's mind. Scooter. So I call him. Cause he's got Scout. So his name's Scooter. Scoot. Sure. Uh, with me. So detaining detaining this thing is pretty perfect. Mm. I, don't know, I guess I just cast get excited. I guess. Because basically, if we can detain the Radiant Guardian behind one of our other things that's going to die, then uh, then our thing dies, and then we get Radiant Guardian back as the 5-5 five, five tough. So we could potentially use, uh, use a detain from Mage Seeker Investigator on our own Radiant Guardian and do some good work with that. Wait, is that what, that's what the Mage Seekers want to do? They want to stop all the magic? I guess I missed that page of the Mage Seeker handbook. Draven out. I was thinking they were like casting magic and stuff. Like they were looking for magic so then they can create detains and things like that. And so that's why they're rude to Lux. You have no alibi. Hey, buddy, what you doing? 
That's what I was thinking. I thought they were just seeking magic to have some fun and create detains and things. But I guess, I guess not. I guess I had this all wrong. Riley, this is somebody that looks like they like magic. Like, I mean, come on, they got a cape. Is that all? Wait, there really is a Mage Seeker handbook. I was just saying that. I must have, like, subconsciously seen that before or something. Okay, they're detaining the mages. Poor mages. What time is it? Hmm. I suppose y'all are right. All right, do we get Scooter? Okay. That one's not bad. See, that was the good emote. Good emote. Okay, okay. Beware the dragon. Lee Sin. Contain the arcane. Leeson. I think that's worth it. And yeah, I'll give them less ammunition for attacking with Leeson for sure. The dragon spirit awakened. Oh, I guess they only need to use one. And now it's seven health. They discarded something else. Why didn't they just discard a regular card? They discarded a retreat? Why'd you. Huh. That's a good draw. I think. Not unclear. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to detain Conflict is all in the mind. Lee Sin or not. They have one card left. Probably. One card left. Time to attack. Banish the unworthy. Yeah. All right, four and oh. Four and oh. Can we get the five win dream? Last time we were four oh with the twisted sin, didn't quite get there. Can we get the five win at dream this time? He sounds a good champion. It's not, you know, like it's not a top 10 champion or anything, but I think it's a well designed champion. Okay, this could be us getting run over. Could be us getting run over. I have my orders. I don't like seeing that. That's their best one drop. Maybe they have no two mana card. There's nothing to fear. All right, Remembrance. I'm not. I can't go for you. Turn three. I don't think. I think we're just playing straight up. 
Just playing straight up. Two mana, three two. Three mana, three three. Four mana, four three. straight up. Man, we still take so much damage. Down to seven. Oh no. I can try to kill that. One drop, Elise, three, four, the six, five, Overwhelm, turn five, triple spell, turn six, Darius. That's just the perfect curve. This is what Demacia brings against Noxus. I've seen more than my share of trouble. Never back down from what you believe. GG's. We would have... No, nah, it, it wouldn't have worked, I don't think, playing turn three, Remembrance. Not against that curve. See, I'm telling y'all, the 5-0s are so hard to get. What's up, Randani? It's so hard to get that 5-0. You know, just like we talked about with the, the Twisted Sin, you know, like we were 4-0 there also. Um, and you know how I have the, the decks of Runeterra account where I publish all the 5-0s. Um, it's so hard. We get so many four ones. But, I mean, we'll take four ones, though. You, you know, winning 80% of your games can't be mad at that. Just had a perfect Noxus curve. The thing was, basically the problem with playing Remembrance on turn three was that I had... I had Mage Seeker Persuader, but I didn't have another two-mana card to play with it. You know, if I would have had a Mystic Shot, an Eager Apprentice... Um, oh wait, no, I guess I had, I guess I did have Thermogenic Beam, but I cast, I cast Thermogenic Beam on turn three anyway. I, I don't think Remembrance on three was the play, but, uh, yeah, they just, they just had it all, so GG's. All right, that's it for Mage Seeker Lux. This is def this is another good deck. Like, this is, this deck's really solid, um, you know, fun to play also. We've always done well with this deck. Um, if you're somebody who kind of likes, like, Heimer Vi, um, but you, you want to play something a little bit more proactive, give this one a try. It's a deck we've always had a lot of success with. All right, but that's it here for Mage Seeker Lux. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.